साई प्रणव भास्कर फॉर एजेस ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन देर इज महावीरा फॉर एजेस फोर्टीन टू सिक्सटीन and there's ramanujam for ages 16 to 18 depending on the age every student will be put in the one category where one group that is either you belong to aryabhatta brahmaputra bhaskara or mahavira or ramanujam depending on your age each uh, between this all the questions are divided into three different categories a b and c in a category if you correctly answer a question then you get 6 points in b category if you correctly answer a question you get 9 points but if you answer it uh, wrong then you uh, lose 2 points for c category if you answer it correctly then you gain 12 points but if you answer it incorrectly then you lose 4 points does everybody understand that so far Yes. 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 So first we'll start with this question. No, show the marking A B C. Yeah, mark the A B C first. Okay, so this question over here is a A for Arya Bhatta, basically. This question. Go to the A B C and they show that. Oh, okay. And in some questions, there are, there are multiple. Wait. Achal, put some question here. So, store me a bit. Sorry, but it's very much missed. Sorry, but it's here. Yes. Okay. Sorry, but it's here. Sorry, but it's here. Okay. Sorry, but it's here. 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 okay um so for example this question is a c for aryabhatta but a b for brahmagupta and a for bhaskara so if a bhaskara age uh, person answers this question he will get the marks corresponding to a category and if brahmaputra answers this question he will get marks uh, belonging to b category and if the aryabhatta student answers this question he will get c category marks yeah. that marks what a is 6 uh, marks b is 9 marks and c is 12 marks that is fixed yes okay go to ari with the question first okay so um we will start with ask some aryabhatta simple questions this is a aryabhatta question this is a a for aryabhatta how many aryabhattas are here Uh, by the way, Aryabhatta is ages eight to ten. Is there anybody between ages eight to ten here? Pitsu, we are ten years old. Abhi Aryabhatta. Ah, uh, then you check your class. You are whether you are in fourth or fifth. Yeah, if you are in third standard to fourth standard. Yes. Okay. Okay, then um, we'll solve one of two questions of Aryabhatta. Yeah. So. uh this question is a beaver is photographing butterflies but after each photo is taken half the butterflies fly away the first photo has 64 butterflies in it and the last photo has just two butterflies in it so the question is how many photos did the beaver take so basically there are 64 butterflies at the start and then the beaver takes a photo But then after he takes a photo, only half the butterflies are left, and this keeps happening till only two butterflies are there. So how many photos did he, the beaver take? Is the question. 
So you can send your answers to me in chat first, and then we'll discuss it later. Ah, uh, six. Wait, Ty, send it to me in chat. That's fine. Hmm. Uh, so the correct answer is D, which is six. Because if you think about it, then the first photo, there are 64. So that's the first photo. The second photo, there'll be only 32. Then there'll only be 16, and then eight, and then four, and then two. So it becomes six photo, uh, photos. Yeah, does everybody understand? Yeah. But the bigger kids can easily look at that two power six is 64, right? Yeah. So for Aryabhatta people, it is fine that they calculate 64, then half of it, 32, then 16. But higher uh, standard kids can do it as two power six. So six photographs are required. So uh, you need to take care of timing also. So better learn these uh, shortcuts. Okay. So, yeah. Then the next question is the random dress. So basically, Shruti needs to make a dress for a school dancing competition. <laughs> She goes to a shop that sells craft bags containing a selection of the yeah. items, which I shown below. And she needs to uh, So now in this question, um, you need to buy pink fabric, scissors, and golden stars to make a dress. So which of the following bags does she have to buy is the question. So which bag would contain pink fabric, scissors, and gold stars? So the answer is D because it has both all three things. There's scissors here, there's pink fabric and there's golden stars. Okay, is everybody understanding so far? Yeah. Okay. So then the next question is dancing dolls. So basically a dressmaker has to make dresses for Yeah. So a dressmaker has to make dresses for four dolls. Each dress has to be made from four different materials. And the question is, which of these following dolls don't have a dress made of four different materials? So basically, if you look at this doll, you can see that this dress has one material here, another material here, the third material over here, and a fourth material over here, okay? So now if we check the second doll, then again, this one has one, then two, three, and four materials. Here, here. Yeah. And this one also, but if you look at this one, you'll see one material over here, second material over here, and only the third material. There's no fourth material. C1. Yeah, so answer is C. Because it only has three different materials and not four. Now, if you move on to the next question. Um, so now we'll just go straight to Brahma Gupta. So wait, this is a, oh wait, sorry, uh, wait. This question is A for Brahmagupta and B for Aryabhutta. 
Is are there any people from uh, Brahmagupta category over here? By the way, Brahmagupta is um, category ten to twelve and standard five to six. Okay, so we have a few people with Brahmagupta. So if you come back to this question, so uh, Bhuva Tina has a file of photos which were taken in 2020. So all of these. And each of them have the exact date on it. She asked her friend to sort the pictures by month into 12 albums. And Tina is expecting the usual January to December order. But because it is April, April Fool's Day, her friend plays a prank and sorts the months at alphabetically instead. So she started by A and then B and like that. That is alphabetical. So the question is, in which album will Tina find pictures from June if they are sorted in alphabetical? So if we continue the alphabetical order after April, then August, then December, uh, the next letter would be E, but there is no month with the letter E, so nothing comes there. The next month, will, uh, next letter is F, and we have February, which is starting from F. So the next one. Nine, nine. Huh? Uh, no, wait. not nine. No. Let's see. So next will be February. The next one. Then. After February, uh, the next letter is G, but we don't have a month from G, so you have to move on to the next letter, then which is H, but again, there is no uh, month from H. Then there is I, but again, we don't have any month from I. Then the next letter is J, and now we have three months with the letter A. So, so with letter J, we have January, we have June, and we have July. Now, if you look at the second letters, June and July both have U, but January has A. And since A, A comes before U, the next month will be January. Then, then we have June and July. If you look at their third letters, which are N and L, we know that uh, L comes before N. So the next one will be July. Then after that will be June. So July will be the sixth album and June will become the seventh album. Is everybody understanding? Yeah. Okay. So it's not nine, it's seven. Yeah. Then the next question is, yeah. So Sima is playing with a robot that draws lines in between dots. She pushes arrow buttons to send the robot to the next dot. The robot starts on the dot with a circle around it. So this dot. Then um, based on the arrow sequence, the robot draws. So if you put an up arrow, it will go one step up. Then if you put a um, bottom right arrow, it will go one step bottom right. If you make another bottom right arrow, it will move another step bottom right. If you put two up arrows, it will move two steps up. Okay. So then the question is, if the sequence is as follows, what will the robot draw from the four options? So now if we uh, see it, then first we'll move bottom right, then we'll move bottom right again, then top right, then top right again, then it'll move up, and then move the uh, top left. Then it'll move bottom left. D1. Yes. Yeah. 
actually after drawing three dots we can eliminate after drawing the first dot only we can eliminate a is not the right answer and c also is not the right answer no you are going down right after down you have to go up right there is no c then uh, there is a confusion between b and d mm -hmm. so you don't have to draw all the options but once once you can decide whether it is b or d you can stop at that point because timing also matters in this yeah so instead of drawing the entire shape what you can do is check if there is any place with three arrows on it like this three left facing arrows i mean two sorry because that is what you need for b since it moves left twice over here moves left twice and since you can directly see that there is no or uh, two left moving arrows you can say that <coughs> safely d yes okay is everybody understanding shall we explain this uh, how to solve once more no i understand yes okay you need not solve the entire uh, problem after few solves only few steps you will come to know what is the right answer now if you go to the next question it's a c for aryabhatta b for brahmagupta and a for bhaskara so in this question uh, which discovers a hidden treasure cave to get the treasure she needs to pass through a maze there are five different treasures on the bottom but she doesn't know, uh, know which treasure to choose so she follows a few rules she will always go down if she can't go down then she will go right if she can't go down or right then she will move left if she can't do any of that then she will come up and she will repeat this process until she finds a treasure so first she'll go down into the maze then she'll move right but then when she reaches here she can move down again so she'll move down then continue moving right because she can't go down anymore then move down again once she can now since she can't move down or right she'll move left till over here then she'll go down now since she again can't move down or right she'll come here and go down here so the fourth answer one. is c the fourth one yeah then the next question is that there's a turtle there's turtles which live in small gardens the garden is divided into squares covered with either grass or stones the turtle cannot go across stones but it can move from one grass square to the next grass square but they can't move diagonally only horizontally and vertically so only like this and like this not like this or this or anywhere like that only like this so each turtle needs to take a feeding path in its garden which means that it needs to move to all grass squares while visiting each of them only once unfortunately one of the uh, turtles in the following cannot take a, a, a feeding path in the garden now you have to figure out which turtle can't take a feeding path so now if we start we can start doing this by seeing manually so over here you can see that it, uh, if you move like this and like this in option a the turtle that does have a feeding part in b the turtle can move like this and it has a feeding part in c also the turtle can move or can't move actually through all it will end up overlapping one of them so that's why c doesn't have a feeding path okay everybody getting in yeah
And now does anybody want to volunteer to explain this problem again? Yeah. Okay. Um, Suman, you can you try explaining the problem? Okay. Uh, the uh, in A, the turtle can move. Uh, uh, it can move left, and then up, then left again. Then it can move down two steps. Then it will move right uh, three steps. It will up two steps. Then uh, it will move two steps right. Just two steps. And then uh, left and up. Yeah, okay. In B, the turtle moves left, two steps, then down, and then right, three steps, then up. And then right again and down. In C, the turtle moves left, and then uh, it moves down, left two steps, then down two steps, then it moves right and uh, and then it moves up, but it can um, cannot uh, go like uh, like uh, the, it will overlap on one. Yeah, to get. That's why C is the answer. Yeah, good. Very good. Here. Ram, a beaver, is a tennis player and he programmed his robot to pick up tennis balls that end up uh, scattered on the court and put them into a basket at the back of the court. Here is a flowchart of the program. So first, the robot will wait for a ball to be on the floor. Then it will go to the ball, pick up the ball, go to the basket and put the ball in the basket. Then again, it will start waiting for a ball to be on the floor. So Ram throws a ball on the court to his test his robot. Unfortunately, after some actions, the robot stays in the middle of the court where the ball was and is holding the ball but not moving. So which step did the robot fail to perform? Is the question. Okay, now to do this, we can move slowly. So first Ram threw the ball. So then it stopped waiting for the ball. And it went and picked up the ball, uh, went to the ball. And then it picked up the ball. But after that, it didn't go to the basket and was just sitting in the middle of the court with the ball. So that means the Code it failed to perform was going to the basket. Okay. Did the robot pick the ball? Anyone can answer this question. Did the robot pick the ball? Yes. 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 And which sentence says so? The robot stays in the middle of the court where the ball was and is not holding the ball but not yes and is holding the ball that means the robot has picked the ball but it's not moving so it went where the ball was it picked up but after that what it is supposed to do after picking the ball it has to put in the basket so which command is not working go to the basket yeah so this is the next problem. A farmer named Mahesh 
grows wheat in the fields shown below. The yellow ones are uh, wheat, but the beads have grown and are colored in brown. Ramesh only wants to irrigate the wheat fields. He can block certain irrigation channels from the coming from the lake at the spots marked from the letters A to J. So basically, these yellow ones are wheat farms and the brown ones are just weeds. And he can cut off water on any of these letter lines. And so the question is, which line should he cut off the water to make sure that no uh, weeds are irrigated? Anyone can attempt this question? Is there anybody want to try it? D. D, F, H, and G. E, okay. Do you want to try explaining how we got that answer? Hello. Hello. Do you want to try explaining how you got the answer? Okay. No, okay. So then I'll explain. So the correct answer is D because now let's go through this. So first, uh, this is one weed farm a field. To block it, we can just cut off right here at B. That way, this wheat farm will be watered through this channel. To that channel, that wheat farm will be watered, but the weed won't be watered. So we can cut off B. Then we have these two wheat fields over here. To cut them off, we have to cut off both F and H. If we cut off uh, F, then this one will uh, not get water, but if we, but we also have to cut off H so that this one doesn't get any water. And then to cut these two um, fields, uh, weed fields off, you can just block J because J provides water to both of them. So but that the means... last, if you cut I at the top. Even this one will not be given water. Even the wheat won't be given water. If you so cut we can't off cut I. I, we have to cut J. J. Now someone else can explain this. Does anybody want to volunteer to explain the question and solution? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, can I? Yeah, sure. So, we have to cut off water for the brown parts to drive with A. If we cut off A, one of the wheat fields will get cut off. So, we can't do that. B, we can without cutting off any wheat fields. So, one is B. Then we have C on top, which is like a main thing. So, we can't do that. G is pretty obvious, we can't cut it off. Then there's F, which we can cut off because it's only going to weeds. H, which is also only going to weeds. Then D and E, we cannot cut off because they are supplying to wheat fields. I, we cannot cut off because it's supplying to the wheat field on the far left, uh, far right, sorry. And we can cut off J because it's supplying to two of the weed weed parts. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so that's why the correct answer is D, which is B, F, H, and J. So the next question is that in the Bebras Bank, the passcode to the safe is a combination of three out of these eight symbols over here. So three of them are the combination. The passcode automatically changes every day. 
change the passcode, the simple rightmost symbol it will be replaced by the rightmost symbol, but otherwise the symbols are replaced by the symbol to the right of it. For example, if on Sunday the passcode is moon, star, or asterisk, and the uh, time symbol. The time symbol. Then on the next Monday, uh, we can move slowly. So the moon is number eight, which is the rightmost. So it will become the flower. And the asterisk is number three. And so it will become the heart, which is just to the right of it. And the time symbol is seven. And to the right of it is the moon. So it will become the moon. Is everybody understanding how the passcode system works? Yeah. Yeah. So last Sunday, the bank manager made us uh, set the passcode to um, hash, uh, a play button, and a heart. Mm. So then he wrote a list of passcodes for some days of the following week. But he made one mistake on one of the following days. So the question is, in which one did he make a mistake? Does anybody want to try solving this question and explaining how you got the answer? Okay, um, you can try. Um, yeah, raising your hand. Or you can try. Galaxy. Mm -hmm. uh, you're still on mute. Hello. Who is there on the Galaxy M21? You raised your hand. Do you want to explain? You're on mute. You're on mute. Okay, you continue. Okay, so I guess I'll just continue then. Um, so if I'm sun, uh, wait, whoever's annotating, can you stop? So on Monday, I say the Sunday, the passcode was set to this. And then now we can slowly calculate it on the, over the following days of week. So then on Monday, it will become. Who is annotating? Some. Uh, you can know. Who is it? You want to explain now, uh, Mohammed Pasha? Don't annotate them. If you want to explain, unmute and explain. Okay. So then the hash will get replaced by a drop. So it will be a drop. Then the play button will get replaced by an asterisk. And the heart will get replaced by a hash. So this is what will be on Monday. Now, if we continue on Tuesday, okay. on Tuesday it'll, the, the, the drop will get replaced by a time symbol. Okay. The asterisk will get replaced by a heart. The hash will get replaced by a drop. So then on Wednesday, if you continue, the time symbol will get replaced by a crescent moon. The heart will get replaced by a hash. And uh, and the drop will get replaced by a time symbol. Okay. So as you can see, that means the Wednesday is correct because it matches up. So that means Wednesday is correct and it's not wrong. So then if we move on, Thursday, if we continue, will be, so the moon will become a flower slash tire. Then the hash will become a drop. And the time will become a moon. 
So that's exactly what's given as the option for Thursday. So that means that's not wrong either. Then you can check the option for Friday by saying that the flower symbol becomes a play button, the drop symbol becomes a time, and the moon becomes a flower. So that means that the Friday one is also correct. Now, if you continue, then we'll see that uh, if you continue, then the play be will become an asterisk and the time will become a moon. However, in the Saturday option, it's been made to flower. So that means that there's a mistake here. They've been given it as a flower, but it's supposed to be a moon. So the answer is Saturday because the bank manager made a mistake over there. Does everybody understand? Yes. Uh, simpler way to solve this day. Thursday, Friday, Saturday or in sequence. So take the first one. If Wednesday it is the moon, whether it is shifting to flower, then on Thursday, first one is flower, correct? Then again on Friday, it is shifting to triangle. That is correct. Then it is shifting to blue star. Right. So first uh, set is correct for all the days. Now second, uh, we'll see. Hash is uh, becoming a drop. And drop is becoming a time symbol. But time symbol has to become moon, which is not happening. Right? So you need not solve the entire problem, but if you think this is wrong. Is everybody understanding that? Yes. 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 Uh, does anybody want to try explaining this problem again? Uh, does anybody want to try explaining it? You pick someone. Mm -hmm. Satvik, uh, okay, Satvik, can you try explaining this problem? Hello, Satvik, can you hear me? Hello, Satvik. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, can you try explaining this problem and the solution to me? No. Ne network problem. Okay. So, Mishika. Mishita, please explain this. Okay. So uh, the question is like, uh, which passcode is actually wrong? So on Wednesday, they have told like, like a last Saturday, Sunday, it's given a hash, what uh, the hashtag sign. And then, sorry, uh, I didn't, I understand it actually. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna explain it again for you. Um, so basically, the passcode changes every day, and each symbol gets changed by the symbol to the right of it. So a hash will become a drop, a triangle will become an asterisk, and a heart will become a hash. Okay, do you understand? Yes. Okay. So then the question is that from the following days over here, which one of them has a password wrong? If on last Sunday the password was this, then on the following days, which one the password is wrong is the question. Okay, do you understand that? Yes. Do you want to try solving it? Um. 
actually no uh, okay then uh so who is that mishika mm -hmm. Why you don't want to attempt? We'll try together. Start. Okay. Yeah. So last Sunday, the passcode is hash, then it's play button, and then it's heart. So on yeah. Monday, uh, the hash will turn into drop. Yes. Yes. Then the play button will turn into the star. Yes. Yes. And the heart will turn into hash. Yes. Yes. On Tuesday, the passcode will be the drop will turn into the triangle pattern. Not triangle, that the time symbol, that second one. Okay. Yes. Ha. Huh. Yes. Two triangles. Yes. And the star will turn into heart. Yes. Then the hash again will turn into drop. Yeah. On Wednesday, hmm. the, drop, uh, the uh, time symbol will turn into the Chris, uh, this moon. Yes. And the heart will turn into hash. Yes. Very good. And the drop will turn into the time symbol. Yes. So Wednesday is correct. So A is not the right answer because yeah. password is correct. Yeah. On, th on Thursday, the crescent will turn into the flower. Yes. Hmm. And the hash will turn into the drop. Yes. And the time symbol will turn into the moon. Yes. So that so also Thursday correct. also is correct. Yes. Yeah. So on Friday, the flower will turn into the play button. Yes. And the drop will turn into the time symbol. Yes. And the moon again will turn into the flower. Yes. So that's correct. Yes. So um, the answer is if A is right, B is right, C is right. So definitely answer should be D. You need not solve for uh, D. And one more thing we should notice here is that because all of them are in sequence, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we need not calculate for Monday and Tuesday. We have to, we can just follow the sequence from Wednesday, all the first uh, symbols yeah. till Saturday. Then you will find that Saturday is uh, in the second symbol, Saturday is wrong. Else, more simpler is Sunday he has given the code. So what should have been the Saturday's code? That will also work. What was done before? Ah, what was there before? No. Because no. it doesn't uh, stay. It same. is not a sequence. It is by eight. It was by seven. Sure. Yeah. You want to start up eight days it is so ha, ah, it will not be same, right? Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, we can uh, stop here. Okay, if anyone has questions regarding the marking or attend, uh, how to attempt these questions. And uh, we can also decide next week who will take the class and which problems they will solve. Okay. Any questions? There are four, four or five categories based on your age and class. If age is uh, matching, then you have to decide on the class. And you will go to whichever is a higher category. Okay, if your 10 is uh, both, uh, it is in uh, Aryabhatta and uh, Bhaskara, then you will, based on the class, you will go to the uh, higher category. Okay, and each question will be uh, given a grade, which is A, 